Welcome to Food in a Flash, I'm Sharon Glass and today we're making a meal for the working mom which can be done in 30 to 40 minutes. We're making a creamy pea and asparagus soup, some za'atar chicken breasts and some butternut just to add some flavour as well. A Greek salad with a delicious dressing and we're finishing with a sliced layered fruit salad. So let's get cooking. As a self-taught cook and cooking teacher of 27 years, I have a passion for what I do. I also know what it's like to be a busy mom and still have to think about getting dinner on the table. It's not always easy, but it doesn't have to be complicated. That's why I started teaching and writing cookbooks to show people just how wonderful it can be to cook and enjoy and still have time and energy to do the important things in life. Over the next few weeks, I hope I can get you to become confident in the kitchen, have fun, and above all, create some beautiful, simple meals that you and your family will absolutely love. We're going to be making a pea and asparagus soup. So what I'm doing is just taking my asparagus, popping it into a bowl. I need to pour some water over it because I find asparagus always have lots of sand in the heads. We're going to add some peas, some onion, a little bit of curry powder and yogurt, which is low fat, garlic, chili, and some stock powder, which I'm going to mix with boiling water. I always say food should be a little bit hot, that you just tingle your tongue, not make it too strong that people can't eat it. And let me tell you about the rest of the ingredients. So the peas need to be frozen. We don't want them defrosted because they're going to cook too quickly in the soup. And the main thing with this soup is to keep it green. We want that beautiful, beautiful color. And this recipe should feed about four people. It's looking and smelling absolutely gorgeous, but we'll leave it for about 10 minutes, and then we're gonna blend it. It's a gorgeous green. That's perfect, because when I add the yogurt, it's gonna thin it out, and I can always thin out a soup, but I can't thicken it, so I like to make them always thicker. And a little sprig of parsley. 